In a bid to analyze Africa's agricultural sector and why it continues to lag behind in terms of productivity, adoption of technology, and the involvement of youth under the age of 30, who currently account for nearly 70% of the African population, AFA International has commissioned a study dubbed Youth and Small Scale Order Farmers in Agritech in Africa to identify reasons why most of such youth don't want to engage in agriculture related activities in Africa. Speaking at a media brief in Kampala, the AFA International Country Director in Uganda, William Matov, noted how a survey conducted in 11 nations across the continent confirmed how most small-scale farmers who practice subsistence farming are living in poverty, something that pushes the youth away from this sector. Comprised mostly of smallholder farmers who are practicing subsistence farming, and majority of them live in extreme poverty. So the scenario scares away the continent's young population to take a career in agriculture. And all of us know that the continent uh, has to close to about 70% of its population being uh, uh, young people. So ordinarily, Africa's youth should be replacing the aging farming population. But this Generation shift is not happening. But this is not the only way that has pushed the youth away from this sector. Many of them still appear among them. The uncertainty of farming, lack of technology, climate change, access to land to the youth also sending them away from this sector, as he explains. This youth hesitancy to embrace agriculture is further compounded by the uncertainty that comes with farming. Issues like climate change, lack of technology, illiteracy, and access to opportunities pose a great threat to farmers, to farmers' source of income. 25% of the youth surveyed in Uganda, they indicated that they neither access or own land. And land is a critical productive resource in agriculture, especially in terms of uh, Matov says further, those few youth engaged in this sector did also face some challenges, especially in these critical times as the COVID-19 pandemic did affect majority of them with a sizable number kicked out of this business while others are still struggling. The outbreak of coronavirus has affected most of the agribusiness focused enterprises. In fact, 40% of agribusiness enterprises surveyed indicated that they have, they have either run out of business or been able to uh, postpone or temporarily close their business because they are lacking training. Basically, they do not have access to training and so that they can acquire the adequate skills and knowledge to know how best they can effectively and efficiently engage in, in agriculture. Meanwhile, in finding answers to the above questions as to why youth can be won back into this sector is only to identify ways of making agriculture fun to entice the youth to engage in it as the Commissioner for Youth and Children in the Gender and Labor Ministry, Mr. Mondo Chateka, does explain. We need to make agriculture sexy and fun. That's when the young people will be attracted in agriculture. And you have said rightly, that one of the ways in making agriculture sexy and fun is application of technology. Application of technology in the agricultural food systems will make it sexy and fun. If young people have to live with fun every time and they don't want the inconvenience of things that are hard, Rich. Mondo, the compartmentalization of land in Uganda as this discourages meaningful agriculture in the country. We discourage compartmentalization of land because at the end of the day you cannot do what we call meaningful agriculture. And when we remain in subsistence agriculture, poverty is going to keep with us. It's going to keep with us because you know you are not selling anything. What you produce is what you eat. You can only escape poverty if what you produce, you sell. Selling land shouldn't be an option in terms of getting rich. 
Many small scale farmers do face challenges of low tech adoption, and this creates a circle of low agriculture productivity, hampering their ability to be innovative to produce more in this sector. Brian Sinkumba, Channel 44 Prime News.